Howdy y'all, <laughs> this is Tim again. Uh, had an amazing day visiting Houston and uh, got to meet up with David Sriracha and we had a bowl of pho today. <laughs> it was a pho challenge. So uh, I was out of commission for the rest of the day, but now it's a beautiful night and uh, I can't wait to try that nice Texas barbecue. Uh, hopefully we get that Southern hospitality again. Uh, and I'm just at the pit room and I can't wait to try out some barbecue and uh, see what they have to offer. Uh, thank you for joining, but I see a bit of a lineup and it's quite late. So uh, hopefully we're okay. Hi Maria, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you doing? <laughs> thank you for all the great suggestions. Oh yeah, not a problem. And tonight you're out of beef rib and, and brisket. brisket. We just ran out of brisket. But you have more tomorrow. We will have more tomorrow at 11 a.m. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, thank you. so Maria's just doing her rounds, letting people know that the beef ribs and the briskets are out. Uh, they're not very happy <laughs> and I don't blame them. But uh, I think we're just gonna explore the city and uh, well, we'll certainly be back tomorrow and uh, see what else we have. Let's uh, take a look and explore. My goodness, everything is bigger in Texas. Look at this. This is the Hapachi Grill and Buffet. So a little bit disappointed with the barbecue, but uh, that disappointment is gone now. Uh, I can't believe a really nice buffet here and I can't wait to check it out. Uh, let's see how it is. Oh my goodness. So this looks pretty good. Huge buffet here. So I hope you're hungry. Uh, let's see if we can get a table. Hi, Nina. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, this looks amazing. I can see all the food there. Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Um, really hungry. Uh, can I sure. grab a table? Can I get your receipt? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in a long time. I'm gonna grab a Dr. Pepper. Okay. All right, so this is pretty impressive. It's $16.99, $17 for this massive buffet. And while walking into the room, oh, thank you so much. Oh, much needed. So attentive and a good uh, Southern hospitality, even in a Chinese buffet. So really cool stuff. And I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in a long time. So uh, cheers to you. Mm. Thank you. Oh, very good. And uh, let me show you the dining room. Really nice and uh, spacious. Lots of people eating and enjoying themselves as they should. And uh, it's pretty amazing. Again, the, this is mind blowing. $17 and I see crawfish and uh, crab at the buffet. Uh, so since we have our drink, uh, I think we better get started. By the way, this is pretty late. Um, they're about to close in an hour. So hopefully uh, there's still some uh, food, so um, we better get started quickly. Cheers. This is pretty amazing here. It's rows and rows of buffet stations. So let's grab a plate. Really nice height level. And let's check this out. Oh, I think I'm going to start in the middle first. Look at all that uh, seafood. And I see something I like. I think this is uh, crawfish. Mounds and mounds of crawfish. Spoon number one. Spoon number two. Oh. All right. Not even the first station, but the, the first item and the plate's already full. Uh, let's grab another one. All right, so moving on. Wonderful stuff here. Some spicy chicken, hibachi chicken, and then this is squid, I think. Got a nice uh, tentacle here on the plate. Sweet and sour chicken or General Chills chicken. And let's see, oh, beautiful clams. Right on the plate, some uh, egg foo yung and uh, wonderful bread and it's nice because it's uh, garlic and butter garlic toast so that is just one section of many all that steamy goodness i still can't get over this is 17 for for all this magnificent food and this we haven't even scratched the surface oh, okay wonderful cheesy mussels oh you know what the baked stuff potato looks amazing but uh on any other day, I would go for a dozen of those. It's not today because 
there's wonderful salmon and next to the salmon is really great uh, shrimp creamy and cheesy and I think we need to get a few of these right next to the clam we got some roast chicken oh and that is a beautiful color scheme I'm not a big fan of broccoli but uh, the colors look amazing I think I'm gonna go for a few of these right here and I'm not sure if you can see with all the steam this is shrimp and it's stuffed go for one of these and moving on, we've got some meatballs. Ooh, and flounder. Really nice. Oh, it just melts. Oh. So an amazing seafood plate here with a bit of green and uh, cheese sauce. So this is pretty nice. You got rows and rows of station and uh, a long line of desserts and dim sum and, uh, let's see what they have okay so we can't say no to a spring roll mapo tofu oh and some eggplant here let's go for some of this oh and, uh, some cumin beef uh, the typical beef and broccoli and mushrooms thank you for keeping this all stocked up and uh, full Oh, really nice. So the fresh green beans, I think we'll certainly have to say yes to that. Right next here. All right, we got some rice noodles, some uh, lo mein, wonderful fried rice. So we'll skip the rice, but then uh, we'll head off to the next station. And oh, a nice fried station here. So we've got some egg drop soup, some uh, preserved egg congee, hot and sour soup. And oh, look at this. The best skin, salmon skin deep fried. Let's go for a few of these. And then we've got some fried shrimp, some potatoes. Oh, and I can see my favorite, the fried chicken. I think we're gonna go for a small piece and we'll just go for the wing right here. Oh, wonderful crispy shrimp. Hi, little. And these are crab puffs and I notice uh, I think I see a lot of these. I think these are called Crab Rangoon. Quite authentic in the U.S. I'm going to take a break from these sections here and uh, let's take a look on my left. There are some uh, really nice dim sum. So we've got some chicken feet and some wonderful spare ribs. Some sticky rice and what is this? Ah, the shell mai. And moving on, oh my goodness, they have crab. So some greens and then, oh my goodness, salt and pepper crab let's get a few of these it's really good it's quite a bit of work and i think we'll probably uh need to eat up some of this food before visiting the other stations and uh kind of work up our energy that was pretty hectic and a lot of food but in the best way possible let me show you what we have here so right up there is the spare ribs and then we've got the shrimp and all that seafood goodness, our crab, and then the spring roll at the bottom, and then some nice veggies for health. This I can't wait to try. So I can't wait to dig in. And I, I hope it wasn't too loud at the buffet because they were just cleaning up, uh, keeping the kitchen nice and clean. But uh, I think I'm gonna start digging in. I can't wait to give the crab rangoon a try. Mmm, nice and crispy and a wonderful creamy filling from Philadelphia. Mm. Very nice way to start. Mm. So I think I got to go for that stuffed shrimp. Oh, wow. Two dishes in. I think this is my favorite so far. That shrimp is stuffed with great seafood. I think there's crab and fish. Wonderful assortment and it's nice and crispy. Wonderful textures outside. And of course the shrimp inside. Mm. Very good and I'm glad I got the pear. The that crispy blue crab is looking pretty good. I think we gotta use our hands. Oh. 
Look at this. Oh, the meat just falls off. Oh, very nice. It's great when it's crispy on the outside and because it's fried perfectly well, it's so easy to take out the meat. And uh, I can taste this. This tastes fresh and I, I cannot imagine how they can uh, offer this wonderful amount of food at such a low price. Oh, very good. Very curious about the salmon skin. I think we need to make that into a nice bite. I'll grab a few of the creamy shrimp on top of the fried salmon skin. And for a little bit of health, let's put a green bean in there. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. The salmon is nice and crispy on the outside. And the green bean was just kind of my little joke here, but it actually tastes really nice. A little bit of freshness in there. Mmm. Very good. And last but not least, we definitely need to go for the crawfish. And again, thank you to David for his tutorial on this crawfish. So I think I'm getting to be a pro and let's uh, dig in. So they're pretty sizable. And as uh, Mina said, they are fresh. So uh, really cool here. So as Dave said, give it a twist. Oh. All right. And then the head, I'm gonna try the uh, that luscious goodness inside. Mm. Oh. Very nice uh, spices, really aromatic. Now for the tail. So. Have they, as Dave said, you kind of give it a crack here, break the shell. And then interestingly, you pinch and pull and push at the same time. So pinch, pull or push, and then you pull this out and everything. Oh, and then we'll get the uh, <laughs> little, little uh, surprise out. And this is the crawfish. Oh, very good. Definitely worth the effort. Sauce is very tasty. And I think we're just missing that secret sauce from David at the, the Kim Son buffet, but incredible. So I think I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna check out some other stations. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I'm halfway through, but it's getting kind of late and uh, hopefully they're not packing up soon. But again, usually I come in pretty early, uh, but uh, well, it's quite fortuitous that I found this place after the barbecue pit excursion. Uh, so really good. So we'll take it back for round two. Oh, that was seafood on seafood. And uh, certainly did a quick work of that. Um, even though it looked like a lot, the crawfish, there's not a lot of meat in there. A little bit of work, but um, it doesn't fill you up very much. But uh, lots of good crab and um, I must say that cheesy mussel fantastic and uh, the fried chicken nice and crispy and juicy definitely the favorites and I think the buffet is settling down so I think we better go for round two before uh, things close up so I think earlier they were cleaning up the hibachi station and now it's nice and pristine let's take a look oh really fresh ingredients here all right I think I feel like some noodles so we'll grab a little bit of this, um, I think this is lo mein. We'll throw it around right here. A little bit of green onions down here. Gotta go for a little bit of green strokes. You don't notice it, but if it's not there, you'll notice for sure. A bit of onions, got some broccoli, mushrooms, the imitation crab, but I think I'm gonna go for some shrimp. to make it a little spicy, some jalapeno, and a little bit of steak, the fatty cut here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. All right, a fresh noodles, and uh, let's see what else they have. 
All right, so they have the sushi, some uh, Alaska roll, some salmon roll, and I think they have some sushi up ahead, so looking really nice. And I think I'm gonna go for a piece of the salmon. Right down here. So it's certainly quieted down, but the food is still uh, plentiful. A lot of stuff here. And this is the station I missed. So this is uh, the salad station. And I'm pretty impressed because they know how to set up a buffet. They put the salads and the breads to the end. So with all the rush, I did not see all the sauces that they had for the uh, crawfish, but that's okay. I think we'll go for, uh, this is a nice round number two, a nice way to cap things off. Plate number two, and uh, nothing better than fresh noodles with the steak and sushi on the side. <laughs> a little bit of jalapeno and a shrimp and some noodles. Twirl it around. Oh. Mm. Those are long noodles. Mm, very good. Spicy. Next time I'll hold off on the jalapeno. But, mm, noodles are nice and fresh. Really uh, flavorful sauce. Nice, uh, I guess it's a seafood and scallion noodle. And having those little bit of bean sprouts in there really makes a difference. Mm. Very good. So, so coming into a buffet late always runs the risk of not having enough food. And I remember in other places, and that there's always the risk of running out of, out of desserts. So I think I'm going to finish up this plate really quick and definitely go for the desserts. So I know it's pretty late, but thankfully the desserts are still here. So we have some jello, and I think I'm gonna skip that. Oh, what is this? Ah, one way to find out. Looks like a nice custard. Wonderful cake. Try one of these. All right, so one last piece. Oh, and a wonderful coconut cake. And these beautifully laminated cookies. I think I have an idea for them. If they have ice cream, I'm gonna grab two. So they're near closing and uh, look at all this amazing food that they still have. But I'm headed for the ice cream. Vanilla. And chocolate. So pretty good, they still have a lot of desserts. Can't wait to dig in. So as things have shifted, uh, this is a banana pudding. And uh, of course we have our cake and then the, uh, the square and then the uh, ice cream, both of them, and our spoon. So unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of bananas, but since they're on the plate, might as well give it a try. Some graham crackers. I think this is uh, what they call a banana pudding. All right, grab a little bit of this. Mm. Lots of banana flavor, unfortunately for me. Lots of wafers. I guess we'll give it a go number two. Mm. It's okay. I don't mind bananas too much. It's just the taste and the texture and the flavor that I don't like. But other than that, I'm good. But let's try that nice chocolate square. Okay. And we just... Oh really soft mm. Mm. it's chocolate and coffee exactly what you need after a big meal and you know those two cookies i got earlier i think i'm gonna make an ice cream sandwich let's give that a try cookie number one cookie number two. Oh, wonderful vanilla with the ice cream spoon all right scoop number one Oh, let's just pile it on there. And then the capper. All right. Cheers. It's hard to eat. 
Mm. And let's see. Mm. I'm definitely gonna make this an open face sandwich, but tasty nonetheless. Mm. A much better approach. So this is Hibachi Grill and Buffet in Texas. I think this is in the Houston area, but I'll make sure I'll put the details of the buffet and the price, $17. I'll put that in the video description below. But fantastic people here. Great, hardworking folks at the back. Mina, or let's call her Miss Mina, was fantastic and really accommodating. That Southern charm and Southern hospitality is uh, rings true and, and rings loud. So really enjoying it here and uh, kind of glad that um, in some sense, you know, missing one restaurant that we can go back to the next day uh, and finding another one is uh, very nice to have. So not too disappointed missing the pit room uh, by coming to a buffet. I wasn't planning on a buffet after the uh, pho challenge from with David and uh, that really, uh, I was looking for something light and certainly wasn't going for a buffet, but uh, so glad I did and so glad you joined as well. So, incredible deal, $17. We can't get crawfish for $17 a pound and they're frozen back in Vancouver. So, and as Miss Mina said, they were fresh. So really, uh, really enjoying it here. And with that, of course, I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're eating well and really glad to connect here and uh, take care and God bless. Cheers. Mm. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in a long time, and this is very good. Mm.